dude, that's it. What's up, YouTube? Jordan with Ginger Snap Disc Golf here. Today, we're gonna do something a little bit different. So, I wanna talk about a, uh, a drill that I saw in a video that Bodanza Disc Golf posted yesterday. It's talking about Snap, and it looked like a drill I really, really wanna try. And I think that it'll help me with a lot. And uh, The video is talking about like producing Snap in your throat. And if you don't know what that means, it's like the byproduct of good form, timing, and all sorts of other things. And when the disc launches out of your hands, it creates a snapping sound or a pop. That's one of the reasons why my name is Ginger Snap Disc Golf. It's kind of just like a play on words. Um, but in this drill, he talks about kind of uh, rolling the disc under your wrist, not like in a really tight locked position, but just in a kind of a loose loaded position. And there's a couple of different things I think this is gonna help with, with my form specifically, but I just wanna try it out. I was on the way to the gym and it's a beautiful day. It looks like the park's not crowded, so. Yeah, we're gonna try it out and this might not even make it to YouTube, but if it does, you know it worked. Just to clarify as we're walking out to the field, I'm trying to see if this drill works for me. So if it doesn't work, that does not mean it's a bad drill or it's not a good tip. Um, obviously, Bo is doing something really great. The dude can bomb. Phenomenal YouTuber, phenomenal disc golfer. If you haven't already, go check him out. Um, his journey is so cool. A lot of the problems he has or struggles or whatever else are very similar to mine. So like anytime he posts stuff like this, I'm like, heck yeah, like I'm about to go do something that's probably gonna help me too. So uh, that's kind of the motivation and the point behind this too. So anyways, shout out Bodanza, go check him out. So yeah, this drill, he's talking about when he walks up, he kind of coils the disc up under his arm. I think I'm gonna try like, just starting off with my disc already like that. And what I hope this helps with me too, is during my coil, a lot of times in slow motion, I'll have the disc in this position like this, but when I coil, I end up doing something like this. When I'm going like full power, like if I'm going slow, I stay like that, but anytime it's full power, it's like a, it's like I try to extend, overextend and it exposes this flight plate. And what that causes is, in order for me to pull that disc through, I now have to re-rotate the disc before I pull which is a very slow motion. So I'm hoping that by doing this uh, snap trick that he's talking about, that it can cr help me create this habit of just staying like this the whole time and pulling through and therefore being a quicker motion. And hopefully it helps with snap too. Snap helps with more spin and more spin means more distance. And anyway, we're gonna try a couple warm up throws. State worker just yelled. He was talking to his coworker. I thought he was yelling at me, and I was like, "Did I just get in trouble for throwing on a soccer field?" Dude, I picked a horrible day to wear a sweatshirt. Now every time I throw, the sleeve goes like flying down my arm. So annoying. That was yanked. But it was snappy. So instead of walking up like this, I'm gonna try walking up like this. So I just threw some warm up shots. Um, nothing great, nothing special. Um, it definitely feels like I'm able to pull through quicker, but also it's kind of messing with, I feel like my timing and everything else because my full focus is like, <laughs> keep the frisbee right here but that honestly that happens anytime you make even the slightest form change there's always a chain reaction of other things that affects which is why i would suggest like going out and trying that little trick or whatever it might be that you're working on first see if it works before you make it like set in stone into your form when you do that and you make a, even the smallest change it's going to affect everything else before you make anything set in stone make sure it works pro tip but i'm not a pro amateur tip just to clarify, what I'm trying is usually in my walk up, I'm, I'm holding the disc sort of slanted, almost flat when I'm walking up. What I'm doing with this is I'm gonna be holding the disc more down and coiled and kind of rolled in my wrist in my walk up. So hoping that in my coil, instead of ending up like this, I end up like this at like the peak coil moment. That's the goal.
Dude, it's so crazy how the smallest change can affect everything that you're trying to do. See, that felt smooth, but I don't know if it was more like snappy. That was definitely more snappy. Alright, I'm gonna try that full power, full rip, see if I can get distance. There is a little bit of a headwind. Oh, dude, that's it. That just goes so far. Alright, I'm not saying that it's working, but I did just throw a couple of my Emperors, one of them like 428, and the other one 415. And I'll put the distance image thing off of you disc up on the screen. It's also with like a very slight on and off headwind. I wouldn't say like full on headwind, but maybe five miles an hour tops, which still affects it, affects the flight for sure. I don't know if it works, but I know that it doesn't not work. Maybe. Like, that was a stable destroyer that just got an S turn. I don't, here's the thing. I don't know if it's like making a more, um, um, I don't know, loud, like explosive snap. So I don't know if this is necessarily working yet, but I can definitely tell a difference just from the past 20 minutes I've been out here. Like. I have a net in my backyard I throw into, and I tried it like 10 times last night, and I was like, man, that's some explosive snap. Coming out here and actually seeing like, if you can see, cause throwing into a net is gonna give you one result. Like you can, it can sound really good, but not be good. But out in the field, it's gonna tell you. Honestly, I don't know if it's necessarily a more loud or explosive snap that I'm getting yet because again been doing this for 20 minutes I can tell the disc is spinning more because there's certain discs that are like uh, a halo blend ember or something that's just really overstable that I can tell I'm throwing it more like not only snappy but more nose down which is making the disc fly more true to what it's supposed to and then my normal max distance discs are going over 400 feet still so it's not hurting anything but I don't know if it's helping yet Dude, it just feels so much more smooth. Like you, you feel athletic doing it. So, final thoughts. I don't really know if it's helpful yet. I'm kind of exhausted because I've been running all over the soccer field. I think the coffee I drink's wearing off. My energy is gone. But, I mean, it definitely didn't affect my distance in a bad way. It didn't take away any distance or anything like that, but it definitely, definitely, definitely made timing a little bit more difficult, which I'm struggling right now anyway. Just kind of waiting on my weight to pull through before I actually pull the disc through. Um, and even yesterday, like I was reaching back instead of coiling, which is literally what I say in one of my other videos not to do. So far, it feels like a smoother pull through. It feels like it, the disc is coming in tight to my body. But yet it's not like about to hit me or anything pulls through smooth snappy um but like with anything you try something new it's going to affect everything but honestly the slow-mo after i start to edit this is going to actually tell the tale if the disc stayed in a coil position or if it uh, or if i just like flared it up showing the face plate like i usually do in full power so that's really going to tell us whether or not it worked i was just looking back over the film of like the outro part and realized you couldn't hear anything because I was next to the road and it was super windy. Final thoughts. Um, I definitely think the idea of rolling the disc under your wrist in like a loaded position is helpful. You can see, I was looking back and uh, did some slow-mo of the throws. You could tell I was still um, wanting to put the disc out like this with the faceplate showing, but there was a couple where the disc actually, because of this, stayed in a kind of loaded position and I'll show you that in the video. So it definitely didn't hurt anything. Um, and I think long-term it'll help, but as of 20 minutes of practice, 
it didn't help that much, but it also didn't hurt. So I would definitely say go try this. Um, and shout out to Bodanza for even putting this content out there so that we can see his journey. And he's putting stuff out there that's helping him clearly. And he's wanting to help others. And I think that's awesome. Lastly, got a couple of YouTube shorts out about reviewing like the new Simon Line Pixel that's out and the Eagle McMahon Envy. Um, I get some test flights, some decent test flights out of them. Definitely go check it out. I've also got a TikTok now because apparently TikTok's really popular and I wanted to stay away from it as long as I could because I don't really know why. But so I'm on TikTok now. Um, go check me out there. Uh, like, subscribe. If you want more content, as always, this Friday I'm getting a collab with one of my buddies who's also on YouTube. Super excited about it. We're going to have a little bit of a battle. Um, but he can throw further than me and putt better than me. But it's going to be a battle. Stay tuned for more. Stay tuned. That doesn't make sense. Like and subscribe so you can see the battle. Comment any kind of tips or tricks that are helpful for you to generate snap as well. Thank you all so much for the support so far. Love y'all. Stay snappy. Peace.